Hi, I'm Rob Nice Paul. to see you. Up in News. Yes, yes. And yes, I also write for the Huffington Post. Yeah. And, uh, my second year here, it's wonderful. I really appreciate what you're doing. It's, it's, so I think it's, it's great for all of us. What I was suggesting is that we do it in the morning. Thank you very much. Give us yeah. In yeah. the media, time to talk to each other. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. Sorry. But you know, we didn't do it this time in the morning only because of the other. We, were, we had a kind of an odd I wasn't going to be here in the morning. I don't know about you, but I surely I, yeah. I had a hard time getting here at Next year, there's no ignore. Everybody would look at us and say, Are you nuts? And we said the morning. But, um, but next year. Next year. Yeah. yeah. So I really like a lot about what you said about health care. I'm from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, we've got an interesting situation where Ed Rendell has said that. If, if he gets legislation passed, he'll sign it for universal health care in Pennsylvania. And what's on the table in terms of the Senate and, and, and the Congress is they could help to make it easier. Because you know, one thing that seems pretty clear is if one state got universal health care, all of a sudden there would be a huge rush of industry to go there because it would be such an advantage for a company to not have to pay or to not have the same... Do you know how Ed's talking about structuring that? I'd love to know how what he's how he's offering to you know and what we could do to help. I mean, obviously, I'd love to help. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what he needs in order to be able to to do that. Well, the interesting thing is they're starting to get Republicans on this too because they're starting to see how they can lower taxes, like for school taxes, right, right, home tax, right, real estate right. taxes, and things along those lines. Because yeah. the school doesn't have to carry all the weight anymore, then it changes things. And that seems to be something that is lacking. I guess I'm up close to it because I'm involved in right. some extent with the activism right. of that. And, and people spoke about health care. And uh, when people start hearing my, my real estate taxes might go down 6 or 7%, they like that. As a small yeah, it's business a owner, for everything. when I find out that my health care insurance costs for my company would go down if everybody had health insurance, I love that idea. Right. But it's, I mean, the conversation well, is not going there. Well, we, right now, I think we're at a point where we want to put together what we believe is the, the most solid plan um, and then sell it. Because I think the arguments are there to sell it. What we've got to do is get agreement now, and that's what we're working on. On exactly how it would operate. The other side of the thing I'm saying so we, know, we know what we're selling, you know, because yeah. I, mean? I think the arguments are there for it. But if you give a little so. help to the states, maybe say, you try it. Too. That There's been a little bit of that. Create some of the firm. Right. That, that's right. that's doing it small. That's kind of a bottom up approach to because if one state gets it, right. then the state next door is going to almost have to have it. Well, I'm kind of hoping. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that we can actually do something that's broader, more quickly. But if we can't, I mean, what you're talking about is good. That's what children's health insurance is about. That's what some of these other things are about. But um, I'd like very much to see us move to a universal system. Um, yeah, so everybody in this room wants that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely.